I'm testing out three of the most popular AI calorie tracking apps to see if you can simply take a picture of your food and get the right nutritional information. I'm gonna give it something easy, something medium, and something challenging to test each and every app and see which one is the most accurate. Let's start with a simple breakfast meal. All right, so first up we're gonna have Meal number one, which is going to be our breakfast meal. This is going to be egg white bites with some feta, spinach, and red pepper. We got three of them here on the plate. Want to keep it somewhat straightforward and separated for the apps. A little bit of a challenge. The next meal we have coming up is going to be a bit more difficult. So stay tuned for that. But let's dive into things here. I have the nutritional information up on the screen for the three bite serving, 125 calories, 18 grams of protein, two grams of carbs and four grams of fat. Let's see how the apps do. We're going to start this off with Cal AI. Let's log a breakfast meal here, shall we? Scan food. It's analyzing, doing its thing. Awesome. Definitely one of the more popular AI tracking apps out there. There we have what Cal AI has estimated this meal to be at. 17 grams of protein, six grams of carbs, and 32 grams of fat. I'm gonna not try to change anything here. You can manually edit stuff and I'm not gonna do it for now, but that's uh, Cal AI. Next up, we have Snap Gallery. Add to breakfast here. Scale meal with depth scan. Yeah, so I'm gonna to try to not describe too much about it and see how it goes. Stitching images, estimated time at 57 seconds, but I've been through this enough with snap calorie that I have a feeling it will be quicker than that. But we'll see there. Three egg white veggie muffins here. This is going to be listed at, for the three of them, 170 cal or 107 calories, 3 grams of fat, 8 grams of carbs, and 13 grams of protein. Save that meal. Next up, we're going to have synopsis. Let's go to this one here. Spinach, eggs, muffins. Individual items there. Yeah, I mean, 50 grams of spinach, that seems a little bit high. And yeah, it wouldn't be that much cheese, so I would need to edit it. But for the sake of keeping it the same, we're gonna keep it the same. Got an honorable mention here. Healthly, brand new tracking app on the scene. This is also the beta version of this app. I wanna see how it compares. I've been following the founders along. I have a feeling they're gonna do a good job. The interface, it looks pretty good. So I'm excited to see. Crunching the numbers, 90% complete. Three egg muffins, 19 grams protein, carbs, seven grams and fat, 20 grams. That's how those, all four apps compare for our egg white bites. And that is meal one. You guys ready to get a little more complicated here? Let's do it. Okay, so for meal two, lunch we got a chili it's gonna have extra lean ground beef in it some black beans chickpeas got nutritional information here for the chili for this one and a half cups 320 calories 22 grams of protein 28 grams of carbs 12 grams of fat let's dive into this one here i'm gonna save this meal i'm going back to my first app here which is cal ai scan food again Mixed meals are gonna be more tough because the ingredients aren't separated, but I mean, wanna track things, keep it realistic. Um, so I wanna put this one in here. Analyzing food is doing its thing. As you're seeing, these are all relatively quick here. This has got it logged as vegetarian chili. Obviously I'd be making some changes based on what I know, but for the sake of the video here, I just wanna keep it as is. So I got 250 calories, 40 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein, five grams of fat. Let's keep moving on, shall we? Snap calorie, add meal.
268 calories. You're going to see how it compares up on the screen here to the nutritional information. 7 grams of fat, 35 grams of carbs, 19 grams of protein. We'll keep moving here. Let's see what synopsis says. Also, apologies if my tongue has been out most of this video. It's just how I focus. Got synopsis doing its thing. Hearty bean chili. This one is including ground beef though. 250 grams, 500 calories, black beans, corn, tomatoes. So there is no corn in that, but there is some vegetables and black beans. It's probably picking up the corn as chickpeas. So if you were editing this, you'd make these changes as well as there's not 250 grams of ground beef in there. So it's estimating quite high, but it does have all the ingredients correctly. Then our honorable mention, one include Analyze meal, our extra lean ground beef chili with healthly. And hopefully they're picking up all the information here. I'm trying to repeat it too, just in case they don't save. Putting it all together. I learn from every meal I share with you. Cool. Ground meat, it's got it in there. 410 calories, 25 grams of protein, 48 grams of carbs, 13 grams of fat for our tracking on Healthly. You guys ready for a dinner meal? We're tracking all three meals here. This one, I wanna keep super straightforward. It goes somewhat bro, but also make it taste good. So let's keep moving here, you ready? Last meal up, I have chicken, boiled sweet potato, and cauliflower which has been grilled. Nutritional information for this one is going to be 385 cals, kcals, 35 grams of protein, 25 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fat. Let's dive in, you ready? Let's start with our Cal AI, scan food. It's doing its thing, it's analyzing. What do we got there? 290 calories, 19 of which is grams of protein, 17 grams of carbs, 16 grams of fat. Let's keep moving, shall we? Snap calorie. Okay, make sure I save these meals. And again, if you're following along, I got Cal AI, Snap Calorie, Synopsis, and healthily. Here we got 326 calories, logged it as a snack, nice little snack. 40 grams of protein, 23 grams of carbs, and seven grams of fat. Let's save this meal. I do like how it gives you things that could be as well if you wanted a simple swap, because I'll break this down at the end of how I think is the best way to use these apps and their accuracy. But let's also go to synopsis here. Grilled chicken with roasted cauliflower, steamed sweet potatoes, 276 calories, 35 grams of protein, 25 grams of carbs. For some reason, the, the fat doesn't always come up on the top there, but it is in fact four grams of fat. Cool. Those are our three meals for today. Actually, I almost missed healthy there. Let's do this last one, dinner. Analyze meal. The last one. This is super interesting, guys. I'm excited to see as I line them all up. I haven't ever really had a chance to like do all the changes and differences. Take a look at the, the comparisons and that type of thing, nutritional information. But we got for healthy 409 calories, 43 grams of protein, 40 grams of carbs, and 10 grams of fat. Those are our three meals. Let's take a look at how they all uh, stack up here. Here's what I think about all of this. All of this was a fun and interesting experiment to do. There's something I want you to keep in mind when it comes to these apps and the intent of them. The real intent of these apps isn't to get things 100% right, right from the picture. 
right from the beginning. They're designed to give you a starting estimate, and then it's up to you to refine that estimate based on what you know about the meal or what you know about the ingredients. So if there's any things that you added, any swaps that you made, anything that the picture might not be picking up, hidden oils or dressings or condiments or anything you know about the meal that would skew the accuracy, it's up to you to refine it. And I really didn't do that today. I didn't add any context or I didn't adjust things. I just took a picture. I just tested them as is to see what it would give me without any extra input. And in that sense, it gave me a good idea which one of these apps is the most accurate right out of the box especially for someone using it without any prior nutritional knowledge. And here are my key takeaways from the test. Overall, it does seem that Snap Calorie is the most accurate. Snap Calorie consistently gave the closest estimates for calories and macronutrients when I tested them across the three meals. And I was particularly impressed that it picked up on the egg whites and not full eggs in the egg bites. And as we go through these comparisons, I'm gonna put up some AI generated charts to compare the actual nutritional information. It wouldn't be an AI video after all if I didn't use ChatGPT to go over the numbers for me and pump out some graphics for you. So take a look at those. Anyways, with the egg bites, every other app assumed that full eggs were used in the recipe, but Snap Calorie nailed it. And since there was virtually no fat or very low fat, just some coming from the feta, the nutritional information was much more accurate. It was much more bang on because of the egg whites and it just being protein and not full eggs and a bunch of additional fat. Next up, number two, Cal AI was pretty solid. It did a pretty good job of estimating in some meals, although there was some overestimating and underestimating, depending on the calories or the macronutrients from dish to dish. But there's a reason why this is the most popular app on the list. It's super easy to use and easy to adjust. And if you were to adjust those individual ingredients, I'm sure it would be much more accurate. Now, number three, Synopsis was also fun to use, but it did overestimate some dishes. Unfortunately, something that was impressive about the app was that it picked up on the ground beef in the chili. But since it did that, since it picked up on that protein source and also estimated that it was regular ground beef, this really skewed the numbers. So what started as a tough ask for the AI, not all of the apps picked up on the ground beef, also ended up being its detriment because it was so far off on the fat source and the fat calories, which completely skewed the nutritional information for the chili. But again, if you were to simply change that to extra lean ground beef and adjust the portion sizes a little bit, it'd be much more accurate. So keep that in mind. Now I will say the most balanced app ended up being our honorable mention, Healthly. It actually flew under the radar. I wasn't sure what to expect, but it gave the most accurate ballpark estimates across the board, across all of the meals. It was probably the most consistent. It didn't drastically miss on anything, which is something worth mentioning. And I'm gonna try to include this app in future videos and test it out a little bit more. Here are my final thoughts and how to actually use these apps, which I think is the most important thing for you. If you want the best possible results with calorie and macro tracking, it's still in your best interest to use an app that has some manual tracking. When you're manually tracking and weighing foods and ingesting ingredients, you're going to have the most control over the things that matter in your nutrition. It's gonna be much more accurate. And since people eat similar foods and ingredients on repeat, it's not that hard to do some manual tracking and copy meals from day to day and include similar things. That doesn't take that much time and energy. So if you're serious about your results, you should still be doing this. Now there's always a time and a place for tracking. And if you find yourself in a situation where you don't know what's in the food or a social eating environment, you just wanna take a quick picture, photo tracking can be really helpful. It means that you're gonna get a quick estimate of what you're eating without having to be overly controlling or on your phone, which in most cases is going to be much better than having no nutritional information at all. The combination of both of these things, some manual tracking and some photo photo tracking will give you the flexibility to still have control over your nutrition while making results with it, which is the best of both worlds. So that's how I would encourage you 
to use these apps. And if I had to pick just one app today, Snap Calorie does seem to be the winner. Although Cal AI is very fun to use and healthly shows a lot of promise. I'll be keeping a close eye on all of these apps and where they go, especially when it comes to this technology. And if I missed any apps that you think I should review, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. And if you want to check out my full review of all three of these apps, including the technology and some real use case studies, check out this video I've linked up right here. You're going to get all the information on these apps and which one is the best to use in your situation. Check it out right now and I'll see you in the next video.